Let's go. Elemental was released in 2023 and was directed by Peter Son. It tells the story where Ember works in her dad's shop. However, she causes an accident where Wade comes in. And while him and Ember begin to fall in love, it's a rule that elements cannot mix. So throughout the course of the film, Wade and Ember bond, but they also try to find a way to prevent Ember's dad's shop from being shut down. So today I finally got the chance to see Pixar's newest film Elemental which literally came out literally when I just went to Turkey in Ireland. Uh, we went to Turkey on July 5th and Elemental came out over here on the 7th of July. Unfortunately when I was in Turkey they had no English showings in the Turkish cinema that was near my area so I couldn't get a chance to, so I couldn't see the film over there. Um, but I have to say I finally got to see the film today. And so far, the reception for the film has been quite mixed. Some really like it and some just say, it's okay. And so where do I come in? I am I would say I'm in the slight middle. I do have quite a fair few flaws with the film, particularly in the story. But I do have to admit, I actually enjoyed the film. I do think the movie could have been a bit better. But I have to say, for what we got, it's a pretty solid, fun film. I actually think Elemental is a pretty good movie. The storyline is definitely interesting. I do appreciate how Peter San wanted to tell a story that was based on his personal, uh, based on a personal story of his. I think that's really great. And I did not realize that he was the one to voice Miles' friend in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. That was fantastic when I just found that out. But um, I do have to say, I think the storyline just, it's a little, um, I don't know, I think the act, the three-act structure was a little uh, messy. So the first act started, and it was interesting with the world building and, you know, the creativity. It was just, it was going in a very cliche, generic direction. And a lot, and the, most of the jokes, while there was some that made me laugh, most of the jokes, I'm so sorry, I honestly found a good chunk of the jokes really cringy. I think the humour, for the most part, really fell flat. I just think a lot of the jokes just just weren't funny. I just, I'm sorry, I just didn't find a lot of the jokes very funny. I found a few funny, and that was it. But I thought the first act, it was okay. It was just the direction. It was a little bit, I don't know, it was just kind of generic. The second act was good. We ha we get more bonding moments with Wade and Ember, which I have to say, the chemistry and the dynamic they have is the strongest aspect of the entire movie. This is definitely the heart of the film. And it's really nice, cute, and very sweet, and very heartwarming. So the second act is pretty good. The third act is really good, actually. This is where things get much more interesting, and the animation in the third act particularly is just fantastic. It's splendid. So the storyline is definitely good, it's just a little messy in areas, it's a bit um, jumbled, I think it's just the structure needed a bit more work, and it's not to say the film doesn't have its emotional heart in the right place, it does, I was just kind of thinking to myself, mm, the story needs a little bit more fixing with the structure. But for what it is, the storyline is, it's okay, it's an okay story, it just needs a bit more work. The animation, however, oh my god, the animation is absolutely incredible. This is 
hands down Pixar's greatest looking film and this was the reason why I wanted to see the film in the cinema. The animation of Elemental is gorgeous, it is stunning. The detail, the creativity, the character designs, the locations, everything is gorgeous. And with that said, the design, the character design for Ember really does remind me of the Skylander from Skylander Swap Force, Smolder Dash, which is a great design. And I really like the unique designs with the different elements. It's really creative, and that's why I really like the world building of this film. It has such an engaging world that I would love to see more of. And while sadly, I don't think we're going to get a sequel, but I wouldn't mind if they do decide to make a few mini movies or a TV show on Disney+. Plus. But just visually, this movie is absolutely gorgeous. The animation is a work of art. The characters are good. They just needed a bit more adjustments. Ember and Wade were pretty decently written characters with great vocal performances. They have decent arcs in the film, but I definitely think the dynamic that they have with each other is the strongest aspect of the film, like I said before. The other characters were good enough, some funny and some just decent, but there's not a whole lot of development on the other characters apart from Wade and Ember. So, yeah, it's just, apart from Wade and Ember, this is kind of how I, like, this is basically what I said about Ruby Gilman. Apart from the two main characters, everyone else is just kind of there. They're not bad, they're good enough, they just need a little more time to be developed. Elemental actually does have a really good soundtrack. Some of the songs are really catchy, and a lot of the instrumental music I did really like. I have to say, the music is very well composed. I wouldn't quite say Elemental is Pixar's best, and nor would I call it one of the best films of 2023, but for what it is, it's a pretty solid fun film. Overall, Elemental is a fun film, and while the story is a little messy, it has absolutely gorgeous animation, decent characters, and some pretty catchy music. I'm going to give Elemental a low 8 out of 10. So that's it for my review of Elemental, stay tuned for my next review. Until then guys, uh, thank you for watching, what did you guys think of Elemental? Take care everyone, see you guys next time, and skadoosh.